How is money made when a property has no equity? This is a very typical example of today's marketplace. The great majority of properties in foreclosure are like this. They have two, three loans on them and there is no equity. But there are several ways to make money on this property. For example, the first approach is a short sale proposal directly to the property owner. For example, this property today is worth $500,000. A typical offer on this property might be $400,000. Well, how is a property going to be sold for $400,000 when it has $550,000 in loans? Here's how. If the first trustee is the foreclosing loan for $350,000 and this property progresses all the way to auction, these two lenders are wiped off that property. They lose their money. So in fact, they may be very receptive today to accepting a short sale, less, far less than the $150,000 and $50,000 that they are owed. If you offer this owner $400,000 subject to lender approval, that's what a short sale is, if you offer $400,000, that is enough to cover the first of $350,000, so he'll do just fine. But the second, and with this proposal, would be, would be asked to accept approximately $50,000 on his $150,000 loan. And he knows, he is feeling the pressure, just like the property owner. He knows that if this does reach auction in three months, he will be wiped out completely. So if you offer $400,000 for this property, $350,000 will go to this lender here, and maybe $49,000 pay off for this lender in second position, not $150,000, say $49,000, and then maybe $1,000 to this lender. Because again, if this progresses all the way to, to trustee sale, these lenders get wiped out completely. So a $400,000 offer would give this first lender payoff in full of $350, it would give the second a $49,000 payoff and $1,000 to the third lender. This again is why it is so critical to know all the loans and know the position of the foreclosing loan. If you're going to make offers to owners in default with a short sale, you've got to know all the loans. Now, on the other hand, if this in fact does progress, all the way to trustee sale, that's your second opportunity to buy the property. If this property owner does not accept your offer of 400 or the junior lenders don't agree to the short sale, let it go all the way to auction. At the trustee sale, when this property progresses to trustee sale, your second chance to buy this property, these two lenders are wiped out completely. This property could be purchased at the trustee's sale for $350,000 plus its delinquencies. That's your second opportunity to, to buy this property at the actual trustee's sale. Creating equity on a property that has no equity. At the sale, your purchase price would be right around $350,000 plus back payments and penalties. Okay? Trustee sale. Again, equity is created at the trustee's sales. Now, your third opportunity, REOs. Again, at these trustee sales, more than 90% of the day's trustee sales have no bids. We will be producing a report at the end of every single day showing all the properties that day that became repossessed, taken back by the lenders. That will be critical. Because when this goes to trustee sale for $350,000 plus its back payments and penalties, 90% chance nobody will buy. If nobody bids at this trustee sale, the lender takes the property back, you can now offer the lender $350,000 for that property. The key is to get to that lender the same day of the trustee sale. Again, these two lenders will be wiped out completely. The minute nobody bids at the sale, the lender takes it back as an REO, a repo. The lender becomes the owner. Make your offer to him immediately. Now, 
The fourth way is buying out these junior lenders and processing the foreclosure yourself. And that will be the next question that we cover.